300,000 customers approximately use the one, two, and three line uh, in you know on a regular rush hour morning. So that gives you a sense of how many folks were impacted uh, today. Um, give you a sense of how significant of a water event this was. We believe 1.8 million gallons of water entered our system. Approximately a million were pumped out by our normal pump rooms. We had to bring in, as you see behind this gentleman here, David, the blue pump there, uh, and other pumps, mobile pumps, to pump out another 800,000 gallons of water. Uh, so again, a great effort uh, by our team. In fact, I saw folks actually lugging that uh, pump down into the station because it doesn't have elevators to give you a sense for uh, what was what was happening. Um, and I would say, you know, obviously we work closely with DEP, um, but in this instance, you know, call upon them. We'll continue to work with them, but I think it took about 90 minutes for that water to be shut off. And in any instance, you know, a minute matters. So we'll obviously work with them to think about how we can do a better job, how they can do a better job to ensure that this, you know, impact uh, doesn't uh, impact our customers as severely as it did today. But uh, again, I'm just grateful for the work uh, the men and women of New York City Transit to get the one, two, three back. And as I said, we have a little more work to do, but that will be off hours tonight, uh, which shouldn't impact service to do some final cleanup. This is a 120-year-old system, right? And I think, um, you know, this is why we talk about congestion pricing. This is why we talk about investment. Um, I mean, I could take you and probably bore you to death for, you know, how old some of the infrastructure that we have in New York City Transit, you know, signal systems that were put in in the, 19, uh, in the 1950s at City Hall. You know, we're doing a major track uh, work on the F-Line right now because that track is 40-plus years old. Um, I mean, you know, facilities with leaking roofs. I mean, there's a lot of investment that needs to happen that, you know, even the public doesn't see. So we have a lot of work to do. Uh, I have every confidence in this group of people and those who aren't here to get it done. You know, I always say, give us the tools and we'll get it done. We've had a, a water main break, a pretty serious one, I think a few years ago before my time. We've had, you know, look, some issues um, in some of like Inwood and a few other places where we have deep stations and sometimes water, whether it's rainstorms or other storms. Again, if, if the sewer system isn't functioning as it should be, uh, you know, water seeps into our system, which is another place where we need to work closely with, with DEP. We have and we continue to. It's making sure that whether it's a water break like this and you know, they're able to shut it off more quickly or, you know, having the capacity in the sewer system here in New York City to capture that water and get rid of it before it seeps down to our subway system, that, that's a big issue. Should be no issues in the evening commute tonight. We have some uh, comms rooms, some drainages we have to clean up. We'll do that after the evening commute and in between, uh, you know, off-hour trains. So there shouldn't be any residual delays. We have some residual delays now as trains get back into position. We get the right headways, but by rush hour tonight, should be no issues. Not our leak, uh, but anything that leaks in the city finds its way into our system. So, uh, but I'll, I'll steer you to DEP. You know, I, I think they're still working on that pipe up at Times Square. The good news, if there's any good news, is that we're the week before Labor Day. So, you know, typically this is a lower uh, ridership uh, week for us. So, um, you know, we should have been able to handle the capacity. I heard of no crowding issues per se uh, on other lines. Um, but, you know, if this were two weeks from now, when, you know, a Tuesday after Labor Day, we certainly probably would have been more challenged.